realizing loneliness in our culture can be a really great way to motivate us to see the need, to, 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 re, to see the world through God's eyes, to see the urgency to reach the world around us. Uh, sometimes we're afraid of sharing our faith or we see secular culture and the church, especially in Europe, we've become timid and we've lost our courage um, and we, because we think people don't want to hear anymore. We see the surface and we say they're, they're apathetic to the gospel message to Christianity. They don't want to hear. They're against it. If one day they change, maybe they'll come to our church. But uh, the reality is that's just the surface. If I can see the reality behind that, the people are deeply broken that everybody is going through crazy things of broken families and so much despair and brokenness inside and a deep sense of loneliness. And if we can see that, which is to see people through God's eyes, it will stir us to want to go to people, to want to connect, to talk to people, to, to share the truth with them. And um, we can respond by being there for people, by telling them the truth of the gospel and how the gospel responds to loneliness, to say, um, you're not alone. You were made by a loving God who's there for you and he's been with you all your life, even when you didn't know it. And he's still with you. And he, whenever you're ready to turn to him, he's like the father in the parable of the lost son running to you with open arms, waiting for you to come home. That's what this generation needs to hear. And we go out with our mission Steiger. We go to the streets, to festivals, to universities, to clubs, and we communicate that message. We say, God is alive and he's here and he's real and he's here right now. And he's for you. He's not just for religious people that go to church. He's for you too. He's waiting for you to turn to him and you're not on your own. You're, there, there is a God who made you, who loves you. That's the most important message people can hear today. And it responds to the loneliness they feel. We need to respond to God's call to go to people today because they deeply need to hear that they are loved, that they're not on their own, and that God is for them. And they're more open and ready than we realize. There is a deep spiritual hunger in our culture today. And loneliness is one of the key signs of it. And if we can remember that when we're afraid to talk to the person next to us or to do whatever God's calling us to do, that's, that's a great motivator to say that really on the surface, they look like they're okay, but behind the scenes, there's a deep loneliness and brokenness that we need to respond to. So we need to go to people today.